Moving on to part D. Uh, this is a little more involved. Um, so what I brought in is brought in a lot of the information from before. The problem said that they ran a sampling distribution of mid-range. So what they did is they took 100 samples of size 40, and what they did for every one of those samples of size 40, they found the biggest and the littlest number, the max and the min, and they averaged them. So they did that 100 times, and what happened is they got a curve that looked something like this over here, kind of that wavy curve. There was, there was like a multimodality to it. Um, and what they told us was the mean of that distribution was $617,000. The standard deviation was $136,000. Um, I wanted to bring this information back from before. This was our sampling distribution of means from the previous problem, from problem uh, part B. We had a mean of $403,000 and a standard deviation of $43,956. And then I just wanted to bring the population mean and the population standard deviation back forward. Um, just so we saw all these numbers, so we could see the means all lined up and the standard deviations all lined up. And the question asked, what is a, a statistical advantage if we were to use the, the mean over the mid-range? So it kind of turns the question around from part C. And the, the two pieces that we need to talk about here are first about bias and second about variability. So first about our center, the last about our spread. The bias issue here, the sampling distribution of mid-ranges has an average, has a mean of $617,000. That is way off from the real answer. Whereas if we look at the sampling distribution of means, they're the same. So what we have is the sampling distribution of means was an unbiased estimator. The sampling distribution of mid-ranges is a biased estimator. So bias all has to do with how close you are to the real answer. So this thing has high bias. That's a one kind of check in the negative column against mid-range as uh, our statistic. Second, our variability. The variability also is an issue because if we look at the variability here for the sampling distribution of mid-range, it's $136,000. If we look at this uh, standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means, it's $43,956. The mid-range's variability is triple the variability of the means. So what this is saying is if we use mid-ranges as our, as our estimator, we would be biased and more variable. So in, at the end days, if you remember our, um, the little bullseye chart that we used in class where we had that little chart that looked like this, and we were trying to aim for that target in the middle, what's happening with mid-range is we're way off and we're all over the place. So it's like, we are. this is probably one of the worst cases that we could deal with. So what we would need to do is somehow explain why mid-range is bad because of those reasons. So we're talking the bias and, and we're talking the variability, the, the center and the spread.